Here's a setup RTS Tactical Zero Penetration. This is a level four NIJ classification ceramic armor, clear ballistics gel, full upper torso. Got the high speed camera set up. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. How good is your level four body armor? Level four is supposed to stop one 30 06, 165 grain armor piercing. So I've got a 308 Winchester loaded with 165 grain armor piercing black tip. This is a 80s vintage Remington 700 heavy barrel 26 inch. I'm getting around 2750 feet per second. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Got the high speed camera set up. I'm going to take a center mass shot. Here we go. Nice. Let's see what happened. All right, folks, perfect center mass hit. Boy, you can see the uh, fibers in there. Survey says, nice. Little deformation in the back, but we'll see how much impact the high-speed camera showed on the gel block. I think that's a pass for sure. All right, folks, up next, this is a Mauser eight millimeter. This is a commercial grade. M70 Zestava, circa 2010. Check this out, this has got some gorgeous, this is Boyd's Furniture. Stay tuned, I'll be doing a video on this later on. I've got, I think they're 198 grain steel cores. Check this out, double set release mechanisms, pretty sweet. All right, let's get the high speed ready. I'm, I'm gonna try to shoot a little bit higher than that 308. See if I can get a center mass hit, here we go. Nice, let's see what happened there. Folks, looks like my shot was about where I was aiming. Once again, no pass through, some back face deformation. I don't see any visible damage on the uh, clear ballistics torso. Good news. All right, folks, I've got my Marlin 1895 SBL. These are the extreme penetrator rounds. These things are pretty bad, man. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to shoot a little bit lower on the plate. Nice! Man, I'll tell you what, these suckers thump now. All right, folks, that's my point of aim. Once again, I don't feel anything. And we got back face deformation. No pass-throughs, though. No damage on the clear ballistics gel. No tearing or anything whatsoever. Be kind of cool to see what the high-speed camera says. Okay, up next, folks, AK. This is 123 grain steel cores. See if I shoot. I'm going to try to hit a little bit higher on the plate. Here we go. See what happened there.
looks like this was my point of impact with the AK round. Once again, nothing. Nothing came through. No damage on the ballistic gel. All right, folks, lastly, this is my 16-inch AR. I've got the 5.56 green tips. See how these do. High speed ready. Here we go. I'm going to try a little bit higher. I'm going to try to hit the S in RTS. See what happened there. Perfectly centered the S and RTS. There's my point of impact. Once again, nothing came through. No real damage on the gel. All right, folks, it's kind of interesting. There's pieces of ceramic. Those are pretty hard pieces. If we take the plate off the ballistics dummy now, we can see, you know, that's pretty tremendous, man. I shot that with a lot of rounds of some pretty intense cartridges. And as, as you can see, this is threat level NIJ 0101.06 level four. And you know, like I said, that's pretty extreme. I think it definitely passed the RTS tactical. If we look at the uh, clear ballistics gel, the dummy, there was no tearing whatsoever. You know, the high speed's gonna show some pretty violent impacts but nothing, you know, nothing damaging, nothing fatal. That's what you want to see. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Hope you all enjoyed the video. RTS Tactical Level 4. I'll put a link in the video description. I think it's an awesome body armor. The plate, Level 4 ceramic, stopped. And the other nice feature is that you get, you get minimal spalling. So remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.